Hi guys, it's Yuko here. Welcome to my channel. I cannot wait to share this very simple recipe for a hot summer weekend. Just in case you want to entertain your guests, you don't need a stove to cook this type of soup. All you need is a blender, fresh fruit ingredients, and you are ready to prepare this gazpacho cold soup. So if you're interested in learning how to make this soup, um, stay with me. We're gonna get to it right now. These are the ingredients: three cucumbers, watermelon tomatoes, four to five cloves of garlic, half white onion, micro cilantro to garnish. If you like it spicy, you can add Tabasco before serving. This is my own version of gazpacho cold soup. I'm using three cucumbers and I'm going to peel the skin off. Two cucumbers go into the blender one cucumber i am going to chop it into small chunks i will reserve the small chunks to garnish before serving don't forget to remove the seeds or the middle part of each cucumber now add two chopped cucumbers into a blender then add in garlic also add in half white Chop onion. Remove seeds from tomatoes and add them into the blender. Now I am preparing my reserved cucumber to garnish before serving. I like to peel it as thin as I can because it's easier to chop into small fine chunks and some I will use to decorate my soup. If you enjoyed this video so far, please like, share, and subscribe. I am using half of a watermelon. Remove the skin and chop them into small chunks and add them into the blender. Now blend all the ingredients together. I prefer mine to be blended but with a bite and it gives me just enough um, chunks so I can feel that I'm eating something instead of drinking a smoothie. Add the rest of the watermelon in and continue to blend. By the way, thank you so much for visiting my channel. Now I'm just going to add in one tablespoon of salt and one lemon juice. Making a cross cut at the bottom of my lemon is the best way to get all the juice out without making a big mess. I find this method is very useful when you try to utilize as much juice as you can. And that's it. This gazpacho soup must be chilled at least two hours before serving. Look how beautiful the color turns out. It's sweet, a bit salty and sour and it's refreshing and if you want a little bit of heat you can add Tabasco or sprinkle a bit of cayenne pepper and there you have a beautiful and refreshing summer cold soup. That's it guys, this is my version of gazpacho, watermelon, and cucumber cold soup. I hope you enjoyed my video so far. Thank you for your support. If you enjoy this recipe, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again, and I'll see you on my next video. Until then, take care. Bye now.